the ultimate bucket filler solution. This is one of my favorite creations. I think I made this up, at least in my head, I made this up for me. Uh, but this is a solution that uh, solves a problem that we didn't know we had. That's kind of the obsessed garage theme. Uh, but this is a 24 inch T316 stainless, insanely pliable, uh, way, way, uh, I don't like to use this term, but, uh, but expensive, you guys, you, some of you may even call it overpriced uh, for the function. But man, if you get your hands on this thing, you'll know why it costs so much. So the way that this ships to me, I uh, buy a male to male hose and we buy in 24 inch. We can order these in whatever size you need, you know, in, in like six inch in increments. Um, but this particular hose is, it doesn't need to be T316 stainless. 316 stainless is, um, is salt water resistant, uh, chemical resistant, which of course we don't have an issue with, with a, hopefully with the, the hose bib coming out of your wall. Uh, but it's the only hose that has this level of pliability to it, where it's extremely, extremely pliable and functional like no other piece of equipment like this. Certainly a rubber hose isn't going to be as pliable as this. It'll tend to kink. But the way it works is obviously braided steel on the outside, uh, but there is a, an accordion, think of like a snake skin Inter internally, there's an accordion style uh, tubing inside that can bend and shape inside of itself. It's really pretty remarkable, this thing, and that's probably why it's so expensive. Now, because it ships male to male, uh, and because it ships three quarter inch NPT, uh, we need to also source some some um, uh, additional pieces in order to make this work. Uh, and so this comes with. I, I, I ship this, we ship this assembled, taped and torqued if you buy the package, uh, but it comes with a, a three quarter inch NPT female to three quarter inch garden hose thread or GHT male. And so that way we can put a coupler of our choice on it. I like the MTM couplers, even though they're kind of cheap Chinese. Uh, so the quality of these, this is 304 stainless. Same thing with this piece. Um, again, they don't make these in 316. And if they did, I don't find it would be necessary anyway. Uh, and then on the opposite end, uh, we need a, a, a female to female in order to accept our, our plug, our, our stainless steel plug. So when we ship these out to you, this will all be taped and torqued. You still may need to fight it a bit, um, leaks or something that uh, it's hard to tell until you, you leak test it. So you may need to either loosen or tighten this down a bit. One thing to note is that anytime you have a garden hose type O-ring, you cannot torque the heck out of it. If you torque it too much, it'll leak even worse than if it's under torqued. Uh, you'll, you'll crush the ring and it'll warp uh, and, uh, and you'll end up leaking out, out the side. And so we set these up. They should be, you know, leak, leak free, but you may need to make a few adjustments on the fly. Uh, you don't need to tape any area that has an O-ring. Uh, you do need to tape areas that do. Uh, and so when you receive this, it's going to look like this. It's going to have a coupler pair on each side. So it's gonna have a pair on each side. So make sure you take note of that. If you feel like you're missing a part, just know that this comes attached so we don't lose anything in the box. Uh, and, uh, and you're going to have a very odd, very cheap, but very fantastic. Um, this is a HISC, so this is a Chinese made as seen on, as seen on TV. Um, this is a, uh, a very simple aluminum uh, garden hose or uh, yeah, garden hose nozzle, which is actually pretty darn fantastic for as uh, these were sold on like Home Shopping Network and Q, it was a QVC, uh, but we have them in stock and it's really the best option. Somebody, thanks to the, the, the source uh, but, uh, OG follower, turned me on to this. So functionally, it looks like so. Let's demo it for you, show you how it works. I have one set up over here on my, on my, uh, on my hose bib. So the way that I leave mine set up is like so. 
This is a, uh, a Prevost coupler. You could opt for one of these separately. You could buy this a la carte if you wanted to. Uh, this is a Prevost uh, coupler that seals uh, when you, uh, make sure this is off, but when you, when you pull, pop the coupler off, it has a different O-ring type. This has a membrane in there that, or a check valve that seals off. So you could theoretically leave the hose bib on and, um, and, and remove your, your, your bucket filler. This would become useful if you were you know, switching between garden hose and bucket filler. In most of my installs, most of the way I set up uh, my garage, I'm gonna have a dedicated bucket filler. This is 49 and a half inches tall. That's the center line of my hose bib. This happens to be a prior P114. Uh, I would highly suggest you check out the Obsessed Garage store, get yourself some version of a prior hose bib. Um, this is my favorite one, but of course they have some others that are a bit more economical. And your bucket filler is gonna hang out like this forever. The way that I use it. Fill up my rinse bucket. Notice the height. This is this 24 inch long hose ends up being something like 28 or 29 inches long when you get all of our fittings as well as our as well as our nozzle on the end. But notice, I don't know if you can see that, but it hangs about uh, about a third of the way. Uh, close to half the way down the bucket. Uh, and so you don't want it, I don't think you want it sitting on the bottom, but you also don't want it so high where it could flop out when you're, when you're filling something up. Uh, and so I simply turn my nozzle, make sure my nozzle's open, I can adjust. I can adjust my spray pattern. I don't think it gets any better than that. I lived without a bucket filler at my current house for a little while and I've been hating life. And so this is the ultimate version of the Obsessed Garage bucket filler, which I'm going to take credit for. I think is the one of the most awesome things on the planet. You need one of these. Seems so simple, but when you, uh, if you if you've never used one before, uh, you wouldn't know. But once you get one, you'll never be able to go back.